Hello everybody, and welcome back to the After Stream episode 3. We have Tajmi here. Yo. The, the third member of, the third host of the podcast who hasn't appeared previously since he didn't actually know about the podcast. Um, yeah, yeah. Slight, slight mishap on us. Kritzkel is currently asleep. He said he would show up to this session, but he never showed up. So, I mean, can't really do much about that. So, Tajmi, do you want to introduce yourself in, like, one line? Uh, I'm Tajmi. Uh, Good enough. Let's have a round of applause. Oh, my. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, Tajmi, I think you had a topic you want to talk about. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, Basically, Pokemon games kind of suck. Like, I mean, you mean and nowadays or ever? Like, I mean... I think ever, but also nowadays. I personally thought they dropped off after Black and White. Me personally, I think that they just, like, are always mid. Why do you think that is? But then if you like them, that's fine. But, wh but why do you think they're mid? Why do you think they're mid? Give me, give me like, a... Give me a rundown. The amazing reason why Pokemon games are mid is because you can't usually even play as the Pokemon and you're just walking around as some random dude. So your main argument is that you would want to have a game where you actually are the Pokemon. Have you yeah. heard of like the Rangers series? I think they're called. Yeah, well, it would be really cool if you're your player, like you're a... Uh, human character could also just fight and just use their fists in a Pokemon battle. That makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, um, yeah, I, I, I guess that's a valid point to bring up in terms of, um, in terms of the conversation. Mm. I mean, to be honest with Pokemon games, I think especially for myself, um, I just think that I don't like the newer ones because they, I don't know, I feel like they're either too short or they're just not interesting enough. And I feel like your point of like saying, why can't we play as the Pokemon is valid. I'll say it's valid. Yeah. I think I, I, it, it's a good point to bring up though, since I think Pokemon games nowadays are kind of a repetitive mess. You have the same stuff over yeah. and over again. And then I feel with, especially, so for example, I have the um, Diamond and Pearl remake. Do you have that? Mm. Uh, I do not. So I bought that sitting right next to me. Have not touched it since release. I bought it day oh. one. I have no well, motivation you're to play not it. Missing that. Yeah, I'm not missing out on much from what I've heard. Yeah. It's like it's like with the state of Mario Kart at the moment. I feel like I feel Mario Kart and Pokemon are quite the, are in the same state, where they're either not coming out, or when they are coming out it's always done incorrectly. Like, I mean, Critzkel yeah. and I had a chat yesterday, and I guess we can have a chat about it again. I try not to get that sidetracked, but I mean, Mario Kart, I feel like at the moment, is in a state of where it, it's, it's doing something heavily incorrect. It's not releasing a new game. It's releasing DLC from a game. Small chunks yeah. at a time. I feel for Pokemon especially, I feel like what's happening is that they keep releasing these games and no one's really um that this they're the same thing over and over again yeah and i really like to be honest i i love the 8-bit style with like the 32-bit like the pixels yeah and i feel like that's where pokemon should be mm. i think now they've expanded it way too far out yeah but that's why i think that it dropped off at black and white but i think you think differently about that um, yeah, I'm just biased because I don't like Pokemon games that much, but I think in, in reality, I think they've tried to make them too complicated. In, yeah, like, they need recently. to be, they, I think, I think with Pokemon games, well, I could argue the opposite and made them too simplistic because I think in the old ones, there was so much to do, right? Yeah, I and, think, and I think, I think like in the old, in the, in the, with the older Pokemon games, there's so many secrets and other stuff, right? And yeah. I think in the new one, 
they simplified it so much in terms of like yeah, i think yeah like legendaries and stuff like they basically yeah. tell you where to get them the old games did more with less and then the new ones mm. do less with more 100 percent. i agree with that 100 percent. like honestly they have the resources and they should have the creative direction to make like one of the most interesting games ever i mean it's a nintendo mm. and they have they like what do they not have like they they have resources so i agree I if agree. they want to make something great then they can do it I feel like for Nintendo, they're just kind of, um, they're producing the same thing over and over again, and I feel like they're in that spiral loop now. I guess if you want to go off the topic of Pokemon, any last things, I can slowly move the topic to Mario Kart. Is there any last things with Pokemon? Uh, no, I think we covered Pokemon pretty well. Yeah. In terms of going on to the same formula of Mario Kart, I feel like there should have been a new Mario Kart game by now. I love yeah, how absolutely. they re-released it because, of course, the Switch is portable yeah. and they reuse the... Ad- oh, he's in. Oh, my the God. The dude is in. Sorry. Got three we're, on, we're in the podcast. What playing, do you have I to was... say to them? Huh? I was oh, yeah. playing Raph. Oh. Dude, I was, oh. I was uh, I've, got my, I've got my new mic set up. Much, much clearer. <laughs> so, currently at the moment, Chris Kell... We are talking about Mario Kart. We talked about Pokemon and it's repetitive, like, kind of... Well, Tajmir brought up the point of, like... Um, what did you say about, like, they had, like they have a lot more, but they're not doing that much? What did you say? Oh, yeah. Um, like, the new games do less with more resources. And then the old games did more with less resources. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I agreed with that. And then we start to move on to how, like, Nintendo's kind of gone to a spiral of... Um, like, I don't know. I don't know how really how to word it, but they've kind of gone to spiral of like not producing anything more. Like, I mean, you've got Mario Kart Eight, in which we're only now getting new tracks. There should have been a new game altogether. I think we chatted about this um, yesterday. But I mean, with Mario Kart, like with the new tracks that just came out. Like, did you see the trailer, Tajmir, for the new ones? Uh, I actually haven't, but I yeah got like. It was showed up in my in my YouTube recommended, but I just didn't I, click on it. I feel like they should have just released a new game instead of doing this method. I think it's they absolutely should have. Yeah. Because the base game, like Mario Kart Eight, came out in like what 2014, 2013. I, I've got a very unpopular opinion, and I think well, it may not be. I think in terms of I played every single Mario Kart game there is, including arcade, right? And I own okay. most copies like of all the games. Personally, I would probably rank Mario Kart 8 as one of the lowest. Reasoning is because I simply don't like how you can go into the sky and stuff. Mario Kart 7 does a lot better, I think, yeah. in, I think in that aspect. Mario Kart 8, though, after you play it a couple times, it just gets old. Everything seems the same. And even though like they're releasing these new courses, I feel like I'm going to get onto them. It's just going to be like, it, it's just fucking more Mario Kart again. It's like more Mario Kart 8, I mean. It's yeah. like... I feel they need to revamp the formula somehow. And the fact is that Nintendo's in the spiral of just re-releasing the same things over and over again. I feel, I feel like they're reskinning a lot of games. And that's what Mario Kart oh, is yeah, in at the moment. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Uh. Yeah, I, I definitely um, feel that Mario Kart has depleted in quality over the years. Because you have like... Not- in in every system, Mario Kart was always the thing that pushed it. Well, what was your favorite Mario Kart game, then? I would say it would be a close between Wii and Double Dash. Yeah, I have, I have that same feeling for like Wii. I, that's one of my that's one of my favorite ones, and then I just kind of declines down from there. What What do you mean by that? Expand. I don't know. I don't. I don't know why I don't like the 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 the, mo- the on the DS ones, the 3DS ones. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. Those games, those ones aren't. I feel perfect. like the 3DS game is like Super Circuit. Have you ever played Super Circuit? Uh yeah, I think so. Is it the, the fact the it's it's the Game Boy Advance one. Uh. Well, no. <laughs> for example, I feel like whenever a th- this this doesn't apply anymore because handhelds have kind of got to the power of 
home home consoles. Mm. But I mean, in terms of um, back in the early two thousands, you would have these um, like whenever a Mario Kart game would release on a handheld, it would always be significantly restri- restricted in multiple ways. Like you had Mario Kart sixty four come out, which was fully three D. Mario Kart um, Super Circuit, which was two D. Even though it's a great game, I'd say that's a really good two. It's a really good handheld one. You then had Wii and Double Dash come out on um, like both like revolutionary games. Like, bro, if you were if you were born at that time, and you saw Double Dash come out. That was like brilliant. But then you start to have like Mario Kart DS, which I think is a pretty good game. I have this. I'm quite nostalgic for it. But I mean, if you were to go back to the game. Uh, not being nostalgic to it, I don't think I I would like it personally. Wasn't, wasn't that the one with the like the missions? Where yeah, you had, like, I had the missions. The, the big, yeah, the big Goomba boss. I think I had a lot of content, a lot of content. It should have had more variety, of course. I feel like that's the it one had thing. More heart put into it, I believe. Yeah, I I the old Mario Kart had a lot of heart put into them, and I felt I felt like it really declined on when Seven came out. Because it was the last game I think that was limited because it was on a handheld. And 7, I believe, I felt like coming off of playing like Mario Kart 8, right? Because I played 7 after playing 8, right? Yeah? Yes. I I had this really weird feeling of like, where has Mario Kart come to now? Because when 8 released, I was like, it was really cool. And then I had the slow feeling of, oh, wait, I'm growing up now. I'm not actually enjoying this. And the fact is, is like Mario Kart should be, be able to, should be able to be enjoyed by any, like any age group. I feel like there's not enough like heart or love put into the games anymore. What What's your guys' opinions on that? I've been talking for a while, so I'll let you guys. <laughs> yeah. No, um, I, I just like to get the stuff off my mind and you guys can comment on it. Not. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. I think, yeah. honestly, it's a skill issue, and I say this because I haven't played like every Mario Kart, but from what I've seen of Double Dash and what I've played of Wii, um, those games like take you. There's a higher skill ceiling in 100%. those games than Mario Kart Eight will ever get close to. Yeah, one hundred percent. And I feel Double like Dash Nintendo, is so hard to control. Yeah, I've 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 seen like I can tell by just looking at it. Yeah. I think Nintendo's been on this trend where a lot of their games get a, a higher skill floor and a lower skill ceiling. A hundred percent, hundred. I it's, agree. It's with a that. lot of what Smash players complain about. Yeah. And I feel like it happens after like one specific installment of a game. Yeah, so some people the love it, some people hate it. Yeah, I feel um, I like critical ever ever comment in this, but I feel like it's a valid comment to say that I think Nintendo games nowadays are very much becoming easier. And I feel yeah. like what's happening is that because they're coming easier, they're becoming boring to to a certain extent. Yeah. Of course, of course, like that's first party Nintendo games. Third party, I would tend to disagree with that. And say that well, actually, some of them are quite hard. But I mean, first-party Nintendo games, a hundred percent get becoming easier. I have one thing to yeah, say. Though. What's okay. what's up with the the, the cart customization? Do you, do you guys like that? Bro, I don't like it. I I want the simple carts, and I, and that's it. Yeah. I just want the simple carts. I want to want the flame runner, and I just want to go for my cut Wii. I don't. I just want to go back, what, bro. I don't want to. I don't want to get out my calculator and start working out. Oh, how how fast am I gonna be if I pick this option? Like, bro, give like me simple pre made cards. Like, sure, the customization easy, has its warrant. It should be easy to pick up, but it should be harder to master. Yeah, one hundred percent. But yeah. it's not like that. You, you, it's like it's easy to master. That, that that's the issue. It's harder yeah. to pick up, easy to master. Yeah, no, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not gonna shit you. If, if someone came into Mario Kart nowadays, right, and went onto online, bro, they're gonna get, they're gonna get smashed. 
because I'm seeing like people nowadays play it, and I and I see them, and they still have smart steering on, dude. Like, <laughs> Bro, I don't even know how to turn that off. <laughs> well, most of them and are like, like most of them are little kids because all of the older audience just left. No, it's a it's an old guy. He's like 28. <laughs> old 28 is old. What, bro, bro. <laughs> to me, okay, all right. He's older than a kid, like a child, playing Mario Kart. All right, and you're not you're not 28, okay? You're 10 no. years younger. You get 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 over it. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's like a group of friends too, and it's just the. <laughs> I'm just watching them with like smart steering on. I mean, some of them have chaos, but it's just it's ridiculous the the amount that you have to learn to actually like start getting into the game. Yeah, I feel I, I feel very much they've it, it's like a baby's first game, Mario Kart 8. I feel I feel very hev- heavily on the fact that if you were a brand new player and you're picking up that game, it's very easy to get into it. I know I know we joked about before like the height like the very hard to get it very hard to like play initially right but like i mean i a baby could pick up a controller and play the game and and still and still be able to like beat some of the cpus the fact is it's like if they were to pick up mario kart ds or like mario kart wii they would be smashed because you don't have all these options the fact is is that i think the one moment that signified the downfall in the uh like the skill required for the game is when we did like the do you know like the um they they try to make it easy with like the Wii wheel. Do you guys remember the yeah. Wii wheel? Oh yo bro. I think that was so the cool. moment that signified them trying to appeal to a way too young of an audience. Yeah. I the Wii wheel has its place, but I mean nunchuck is significantly can better. We, I can feel we like. go to like Wii accessories and how <laughs> stupid they are? <laughs> Like, what, was there one where there's like a tennis where you add a tennis? Like, what yeah. is that doing? I I actually have that one. <laughs> you, add, you add a tennis to the top of your thing. I guess it adds like weight. Yeah. But who yeah, cares? It looks like you're playing tennis, dude. I mean, I mean, uh, I'm back on half on the topic of Mario Kart. Did any of you guys have like those weird accessories, like the 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 Wii ones, right? And then start to play like Mario Kart Wii with it. My, no, bro, I, yeah, those bro, someone had a so, like... someone had a golf club at their house and they were playing Mario Kart with it. Like attached to it, I, have, I was like, "What the?" I have like fuck, two bro? of the golf, the golf club ones. I need to play Mario Kart with them. Oh, bro. Okay. Does anyone have any last comments on Mario Kart? Because I'm gonna bring up a very, very like annoying thing for me. I actually have like one more thing for Mario Kart. Yep. I think the main issue is honestly, I think we've been kind of in the right area, but we've been kind of saying the wrong things because we've said, or what I've said at least is a uh, high skill floor low skill ceiling i, I think that's kind of true but also kind of not true because you'll see people you, you might get them in their lobby you might see a speed run and you'll just notice that these people are literally built different and they've definitely put more time into the game than you and even me i don't that's with any I game literally, though, honestly i yeah. i feel like that it's a valid argument but the fact is like what critical said it's for any game like any yeah, game yeah. in existence, even kids' games, you can get really fucking good at them, no matter yeah, what. Okay. Like, to be entirely honest with you, you can make a game of, like, getting over this, have you t- Have you heard getting this over is why, it? This is, guys, this is why Mario Party is the best game. Dude, <laughs> yeah, you bro. You have bro, no idea bro, what's do going n- on. Do not, do not get me onto Mario Party. But finish, have you guys heard of getting over it? Yeah. Yeah. Speedrunners make that game look easy. But it, it doesn't yeah. mean it's easy. It in, like, one minute, like, <laughs> One minute twenty, or something like that. Yeah. Like the fact is, is that people can do crazy shit, and to be entirely honest with you, the uh, like, of course, there's always going to be in every single game someone who's going to be like really fucking good, and and yeah, okay. I, I I respect the people who put that many hours into it. I mean, for a casual player. Yeah. I mean, if you look at it from I a think... casual perspective. Yeah, and also something I was going to say is that, um, I think I'm pretty good without having put uh, all the effort to learn the insane oh, tricks yeah, 100%. and all that. 100%. You, you're excellent at the game. Yeah. I watched, like, one episode on, like, uh, speedrunning one core, like, Shy Guy Falls or something, and the the moves that they did, they spammed, like, I the watched. Of the I watched one speedrunning help video, and now I am the master <laughs> at Mario Kart. 
of course. No, I watched it because I was bored speedrun doing just going yeah, through Mario Kart. Yeah, but, yeah. Like, you always you always look at speedruns of your favorite games and, and it just it lowers bro, it lowers your self esteem. It it makes me feel I so know. depressed because it's like it's... they can do it so much better than me. Kind of, but at the same time I just I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I'm like I'm not going this hard in a game where I just <clears throat> wanna have fun, dude. I yeah. just wanna have fun. Um, moving on to back onto the Wii accessories. Yeah. Okay, I have to bring this up. You motherfuckers didn't use the plastic shells for, for the Wii remotes, did you? Like, like the the the, the really matter. shitty plastic that would always, if they were if they were clear, they would always go yellow after like a week. I they have would, they would my yellow clear ones, and they're still clear. Oh my god! But why do you use them? What's the purpose? Is it because you you I... smack them on the ground, they bounce back up? Yeah, it looks fun. And also, I think it's for people who are too scared to use a little Wii strap, and so they need, like, if they end up throwing who, their Wii remote in the center. Who hurt. is scared to use the Wii strap? Who? Babies. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, like, <laughs> there is no adult out there who is scared to use the Wii strap. They don't go to the Wii remote and go, oh they, they shit, there's the Wii strap! I mean, like, no one's gonna be doing that. Yeah. Oh. No, but bro, I I go on eBay right nowadays, and you look online. There's some disgusting like Wii Wii modes and stuff, right? But bro, yeah. I've seen like brown. I've seen brown with mold on it, and someone trying to sell like a Wii remote with that Wii cover. Just remove the Wii cover, bro. Throw it out. It has mold on it now. Like, because the fact is, it's like when you, when you're when you're getting hyperactive and you're playing these games, right? You're like sweating. And all that yeah. sweat gets into that gets into the plastic. I'm just like, mm. bro, bro, just throw it out. I had some and I threw them out immediately. Oh, and what? I, I'll let you guys speak after. Much, I'm just gonna bring this up. The Wii Remote Plus, like the Plus extension. Oh my yeah. god, that pissed me off so much. I had a, ri- wi- I, I had an original Wii Remote, and I couldn't play half of the games with my friends because I didn't have the Motion Plus. I'm oh. like, oh my god. Yeah, I have yeah. the motion plus, so that just sucks to be you. <clears throat> inside, inside of the controller or the actual extension? Both. No, I, ha- I used to have, I, I, yeah. I I used to have this really Chad friend who would bring over one for me, because because yeah, what happened yeah. was that he had a Wii and stuff, and he would always bring it over, like the extension and the Wii remote. Yeah, that's bro. Cool. I gotta show you a picture of my Wii. What is it? The the cover. That you put around the Wii, I, I'm not 100 percent sure what, what the name is. What? It is like bit and chewed and broken and just. What do you mean cover right around here. the Wii? Whatever the it was what you were talking about earlier. Oh, like for the Wii oh, remote. Yeah. Of course it's oh, chewed. Yeah. It's it's rubber. That thing's oh, delicious. Who just like, what? What? <laughs> Wait, what? Pop that in their mouth. <laughs> you pop the. You guys ever pop the Lego wheel in your mouth, bro? That's it. Busted. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> what do you mean? Have you guys not done that, dude? You put your tongue through the wheel hole, like, dude. <laughs> what the fuck? That that that's a you problem, man. Yeah, I probably childhood more regular guys, Legos childhood. Than wheels. Yeah, I mean, um, I might segue the conversation to, uh, the, <clears throat> okay, did did you guys have the Wii with the GameCube attachment? Um, oh yeah, yeah. The GameCube attachment. Can you the remember? current climate and price of GameCube games. Do you guys know how expensive they can get? Very expensive because I tried to buy a Thousand Year Door one day and I just couldn't. Bro, you're not buying the Thousand Year Door. I'll tell you that much. Never. I've tried never, to buy no. it years ago, and I'm older than you, and it was still expensive. No, years ago, no, because I bought it. Re- I was trying to buy it recently. Did you buy it? Uh, no. Oh, very good. No, no, I mean like. I, I, I looked on eBay like five, six years ago. It was still like 200 AUD, which is still over, really overpriced. Let me check how much it is right now. Like, I've, so I, sure, I like, can. The cover was going for like over a thousand dollars. Bro, I don't, I don't <laughs> understand people on eBay and stuff, right? Taj, me, have you been on eBay before? I have. Have you ever seen someone try to sell like a manual to a game or like the case without like the, the disc? Like bro, where did where did the disc go? Did you eat it? Did you did you just throw away the disc? Like oh, he put bro, his... bro, I oh. I have seen I have seen cases with manuals. I've seen 
dudes have every single pamphlet that ever went into that, right? Every code and going... everything, right? But they don't have the disc. These games are going for like over. Well, that that's, that one's a bit ridiculous, but. But I mean, like, like over a hundred twenty bucks, dude. One hundred twenty USD. Yeah. Yeah, but like, have you ever seen try someone try to sell like the case and like the manuals of the game, and they've got fucking mm -hmm. everything, but they don't have the disc. Like, I I sit there sometimes on eBay and I look at these and it's like, bro, it's in perfect condition. You even have like, you you have the promotional pamphlets that came with the game. What did you do yeah, with I the game? How how did really you lose that? Like, they, I don't think they lost the game. I think they just want to sell the cover and see if they can get anything off of it. Bro, please, please do not get into the fact that I I I cannot imagine a world where someone wants to where someone's like. Yeah, let let me keep let me keep the disc and try to sell like the case, like bro, it goes together. You don't separate that shit. It is a sin to separate the disc from the case. All you have to do is put the disc yes, upside yes. down, and then you just. If they crack the disc, that would make more sense to me. You just have to be careful. Yeah. Because all if you don't have if you don't have a case, you just be bro, I cleaned up my friend's um, it was under his TV. He had like a basket of games and shit, right? Bro, uh, I found a sealed game at the bottom of it. And he was like, what? He pulls out from his bag when we just went shopping and pulls out the same game. He bought it twice. <laughs> because he forgot he just bought it. And it was at the bottom of the of, 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 of like the wasteland bin. Damn. There are some people who like have no self-respect for their games. And, and I, I'm, you guys respect your games, right? Like children. Um, I ha I put all of my games in a bag and then lost it and then I found it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the story of my games. I have no respect for you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, Taj Mahal? Oh, there's a bunch of Switch games. But, you know. Yeah. Ty, you suck at games, dude? What? I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I was not listening. <laughs> how, do you store, how do you store your games? I got this bookshelf that has, like, only one row of books. Yeah. And then the rest, there's like I'm one. I'm guessing you don't read them at all. Absolutely not. Do you guys have... like read books? No. Okay. I, I don't. Do. Like Taj, may keep continuing. So I just wanted to. But, um, yeah, we got Wii U games right there, 3DS games, Switch games, PS4 games. Yeah. That's it's about it. Games. That's over there. Yeah. All the Wii games are in a different room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, so you're saying 150 bucks for the Thousand Year Door? I can yeah. buy it for 150 AUD. Ooh. Right now, in front yeah. of me. Yeah. I just don't want to spend like I. I'm not that desperate to get a copy right now. I mean, maybe I'm gonna be real with you. Like, I'm gonna be real with you, mate. You're gonna have to buy it sooner than later. It's just gonna keep going up. You you, you don't do these things. With oh, games I games. know it's gonna keep going up, but honestly, I'm not like a big collector. I mean, um, like, <clears throat> but bro. Bro, I can see from the United. I can see from the U.S. right now. U.S. one hundred and ten bucks. Player's choice, one hundred and ten bucks. It's on. It's on. It's literally right in front of me. One hundred and ten USD. Can you see it? The listing. No. There's one for one hundred nine dollars. On eBay U.S. There's one for almost a thousand bucks. There's one for two k, factory sealed. Yeah. The the sealed ones are gonna give you like. <clears throat> yeah. Have you? Do yeah. you guys own any GameCube games? Uh I yeah, I have a couple. I have like I think I have four swords. Uh, one of the Mario parties. <clears throat> uh, Sunshine and Breath. Not Breath. Breath. Zelda. 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 Like one of the Twilight Princess. Yeah. Wait, wait, no, wait. Go back, go back, go back. What did you just say? Twilight Princess. Twilight Princess for GameCube. Yeah. Do do you not do you like know the value of that? No. Okay. Uh, well, you can buy multiple copies of um of the game that you want. I'll say that much. Wait, if you want about, if you want like three copies of the Thousand Year Door, then you can go oh, ahead. Yeah. Game. Thank you for telling me what you were typing. I had no clue. <laughs> what the hey? 
<laughs> bro, bro, AUD, they're going for like 250 You can buy like two copies of the Thousand Year Door with that. Dude, what else do you own on GameCube? Um, I can tell you the prices of them. I know them off by heart, pretty much. I think that's really it, though. It's just Mario Party. Which uh, Mario Party? Four Swords. Mm, I gotta check. Because, um, some Mario Party's are worth uh, about the same price as Twilight. That's Four Swords. Wait, wait, wait. Now go back. What did you just say? Four, four, four Swords, swords on GameCube. Adventures. What? Really? Yeah. Oh, I even have. Oh, the the covers in really good condition. And, bro, this is so gonna be so much money. What? Holy shit! It's in so good condition. Um, I'm just gonna tell you right now. Uh, Four Swords Adventures is going for roughly 400 AUD. Make so make that's that's money. about that's about four make copies make. of of um thousand year door i don't want at this point i'm not gonna spend could you like <laughs> ship one to me that would be very appreciative <laughs> tosh me you're in on that also yeah, yeah. <laughs> what else do you have i gotta check which mario party i have <clears throat> no what game keep games do you have just list them out well that's it it's twilight forest four swords adventures and uh, Mario Party. Oh no, also Sunshine. Okay, Sunshine's not worth a whole lot. Tajmir, what do you have anything? No, do, do you have anything? Right? I'm, I'm gonna let Tajmir speak. Let's go. And it was um. <clears throat> what was I gonna say? Oh wait, um, I have. Oh, yeah, I think it's funny how we keep. Oh, it's translating. Mario Party Seven. <clears throat> I'll look it up. Tajmir, speak. I think it's funny how we keep translating money into the amount of uh, <laughs> thousand years. Look at the uh, podcast. Three hundred dollars. I'm just gonna say that critical. Right. Three hundred bucks. Two copies of uh, thousand years. Yeah, that's I about. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, the reason why I'll, I'll let Taj, I'll, I'll let you speak after. It's I whenever I because like exchange rates, right? Like US AUD. Yeah. What I always do to like tell them how much something is is I go, oh, it's like one and a half new games, and that kind of indicates how much something is, right? It gives you yeah, a rough yeah. indication. It's pretty good. That's why I'm like using like um Thousand Year Door because Critical knows how much there's in USD. I can just go as like two of those. Because he, he, if I tell him like four hundred AUD, he's not gonna he's gonna go what the fuck, and I don't understand it. He's gonna look it up on Google. I'm sparing him some time. That's kind of whack, though. That's like, like... I can actually buy some good shit with that. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, you can always just ship it to me. I mean, I could. Yeah. Um. I uh, so just... next to me, I currently let me grab my GameCube games. Let's see. I'll see what he got. Like show and tell, but like with thousands. Of... Show and tell, but for millions of dollars, dude. Oh my god. So hello, I'm back. Go on for pain. I've got Super Mario Sunshine, mm -hmm. uh, Mario Party Five, uh, 007 Agent Under Fire. Wait, how how much does Part Five go for? Because isn't that gonna be more expensive? Than seven. Five, I actually don't believe it's that much. What? Five's like um, one new video game. Like sixty USD. Oh yeah, probably because people went to buy five first, and then when like the other two came out, no yeah, they didn't like, want to buy them. Like, nah. <clears throat> uh, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which is about uh, half a new up. game. Save him for last. Damn. Harry Potter and Chamber of Secrets, about the same. Um, Lego Star Wars two on GameCube. Don't know why that exists. Then I've got Double Dash, which has severely increased in price. Double Dash. Double, Double Dash is going way up. Two new game, two new video games roughly. Nice. Then I've got Luigi's Mansion, one and a half. 
I, I want an Luigi's Mansion. Luigi's. I wanted to play the original. Is, this, got a, to. is this a rare case I've got this in? Clear Vu Nintendo model. Dual well 007. I gotta check my cases. Everything. Bro, I got these for quite cheap. <clears throat> that. All of them are pretty much free. I mean, I'm also sitting on a Game Gear, if you know what that is. Game Gear? Yeah, I'm the other. What? What's Game Gear? Oh, man, left. Pleasure, man. I got a question for you. Yeah. What's the best Luigi's Mansion game? The best what? The best Luigi's Mansion game. Hmm. Uh, First, second, or third? You gotta, you gotta tell me. Right bro, I have, right I haven't even played the first one, but I have played the other two. I know, but like you, you know what the first one. Is, I, I right? just know. You just know. The first one seems like the best one. Yeah. Dark Moon was cool, but I didn't even beat the game because I was a small child. And then was a baby. I got Luigi's Mansion 3, but then I got bored of it. <laughs> yeah, Luigi's Mansion 3 is, like, long. -ish. Yeah, it takes too much time. Dude. What are we talking about? I ain't got about? time for this. Talk about Luigi's Mansion, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I have to, I have to reorganize my animation cells. Do they know? Oh. <laughs> I had to rearrange my money. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I had to rearrange them since I didn't, um, they unpacked away very well. Mm. I'll, I have send, the, I'll send them to you. Four Swords case, though. I only have the Wind Waker case and the uh, Prince, Twilight Princess case. I sent it in the Discord. <gasps> Dude. Dude. <clears throat> so cool. Um, yeah, I mean, beyond that, I mean, rare games are a bit of a, to be entirely honest with you, I'm not very, I'm surprised, but I'm not overly surprised. People know the, people really don't know the value of games nowadays. Because the fact is, is that game, games are not, uh, they, you, they shouldn't really be based on value. They should be based on enjoyment. Yeah, but also value because I'm not playing these games. Yeah, ex exactly. If you're not, if you <laughs> don't give two shits about them, I mean, go ahead. What's and is there any N sixty four games that are going for sale? What? How many do you have? have a, a, quite a a lot. There's some of them that are going for a bit. Seven. Seven bucks. Yeah. I mean, I've got a couple that go for like one hundred twenty AUD. I mean, two new games, like one and a half. Diddy Kong Racing. Diddy Kong Racing is quite rare. Is it? <clears throat> yeah. Taj, may have you got any rare games? Uh, let me look over at my bookshelf that's uh, across my entire room. <laughs> All right. Guys, don't worry. This is an extended episode of the podcast. We don't, we won't normally do this long. This is just because we've got all three people in here. All three don't people. Worry, don't worry about I got the incredibly rare and elusive game, Minecraft for the Wii U. Oh, shit. <clears throat> um, Minecraft for the Wii U. They made like a whole. Minecraft Wii U edition is going for like half a new game in Australia. Damn, yeah, I got a couple. Kind of Wii, I got a lot of Wii U games here. <laughs> <clears throat> Wii U yeah, games is Wooly though. World. Yes, mm. sir. I got Wind Waker HD. I got Wind Splatoon. Wind Waker HD is an expensive game. Wait, is it? Yeah. Two times a new game. Damn. I don't... I, I, I know like, it doesn't work. I'm like, let's tell her, like, get rid of it, bro. Give me, give me your game. <laughs> give me your game so I can... Guys, can we swap a game? I've just, I've got this copy of Hannah Montana on DS. Critical. <laughs> Critical. I, uh, four swords. Four swords. Uh, I mean, we can, we can trade. Yeah, uh, I can uh, give four, you guys uh, Disney Infinity. Oh my god, bro, bro, bro! I, I'll give you, I'll give you my PS5. I, I yeah, need okay. that. Yeah, good trade, good trade. <laughs> yeah, Four Critical? swords, though, critical. Like, can we, can yeah. we get that? Crit, 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 crit,
for Hannah Montana. Yeah. I have this really crummy thing of Wii Sports. No. Bro, 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 I'm coming to your house right now. Me too. I'm on the way. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming. You're playing Wii. Guys, come over. Let's play some Wii Sports. Baby. Yeah. Let's Thank you guys for listening to the ep- new episode of the podcast. Remember to um, watch us on Spotify and on YouTube. It is the after stream. And please also support us on Patreon. We are on Patreon now. So yeah, uh, we're going to go to Chris Curls now. Um, I'm going to fly over there overnight. Yeah. Uh, ma- ma- make sure to leave the Wii on. I'll be I'll be coming. Oh, Thank you guys for watching. Um, just say goodbye, guys. Bye. I got chlamydia. Wait, what? What the fuck? <laughs>